Hi, Millie C. here, and welcome back to Crazy Card Saturday. I'm showing you the products that I will be using in today's card, which is a slider card. Me and Sarah have decided to do a slider card. So once you are finished watching my video, please head on over to her channel. That will be linked in the description box down below and check out her slider card. And also I will insert a picture at the end of showing a little preview of her slider card as well. Right now I am using tumble glass and I am blending in um, in the Tim Holtz watercolor paper. I and then I'm gonna go in with a the darker color just to give it just on the edges of it. And then I did mask off my castle and my jellyfish and I use the Eclipse um, masking masking paper. You can get that from Simon Says Stamps. That's where I got it from. Um, I've got it. I got it like a few years ago so I'm pretty sure they still have it and I will try to link it in the description box if I remember and if I can find it as well. Also I apologize if you hear dogs in the background. They're not my dogs. They're neighbor's dogs. And they constantly bark all the time. Especially when I'm trying to do a voiceover. Really? So anyway. So now I'm using, I'm spritzing some water in my hand and I am just um, putting water all over the little image to give it like that run, runny look, if you want to call it. I did too big of um, puddles. I wanted them small, but oh well, it still came out cute. And now I'm taking off the mask, I'm removing the mask, and I'm going to be using the Zig Clean Colored Brushes which I am loving. I love these markers. They're so easy for me. Like I said in one of my other videos, I have the, the Tim Holtz Distress Markers. For some reason, I cannot blend with those. I don't do very good. Right here, I messed up. I was supposed to do the orange first, then come in, come in with the yellow, but it actually worked out and it blended quite like nicely. I didn't use any water with this one. I just blended it just with the two markers. And like I said before in my last video, you can do that. You don't have to use water with these markers. They blend very nicely, but you have to use them with watercolor paper. I don't think you can use them with any type of other paper. So now I'm using, um, I think this is the darkest purple that I have in my collection. And I'm using that. And then I'm coming in with a lighter purple. It looks like, like a lavender. If I can remember also, I will link the colors down in the description box down below as well. Now I'm coming in with water. And this is where I did a boo-boo. I added too much water to the jellyfish. And you'll see that at the end. It started to bleed. And I didn't like that. But I just kept going with it because I did not want to start this card all over again. So yeah. As you can see on the side there, it's it bled. It, I just I added way too much water for it, and so now I'm going in with like a light tan with the castle. Um, I'm not using two colors with the castle. I'm just using one color, and then again my brush was letting out so much water. I think I'm going to take the water out and just have like a little cup on the side and do my own water because I was having a little issues coloring this. Because it kept bleeding. But yeah, this is um, my card. And I hope you guys enjoy. And I hope you guys are enjoying this um, episodes of Crazy Card Saturdays that we are doing. Um, please thumbs up the video if you like it. And leave a comment. And don't forget to head over to Sarah's channel after you're done watching mine. And now I'm going to leave you with some music. And thanks for watching. Until next time, guys. Bye. Thank you.